Well, in elementary school and most of middle school, I was um, mainly a shy person, and but I did well in school. But I didn't really picture myself going to a prestigious university or anything like that. The idea of actually going to college came to me in in about eighth grade because I started taking more advanced classes and I was doing well in them. And so that, that, um, that made the idea of going to college more feasible for me. I'm going to be a first generation student because my parents didn't go to, to college and um, neither did my siblings. Although my older sister had junior college, but not a university. And so uh, I don't really have anyone to hold my hand or to give me advice from my family, that is. And um, so I think teachers fill that role very nice here. And they have guided me and um, encouraged me. I think that a lot of the programs here are very helpful for students, such as the university program and also AVID and other programs. And um, also the teachers here, I believe, are very supportive. My experience with um, my teachers has been very valuable to me because they have provided a type of support that I don't really get at home because my parents didn't go to college, even though they support me and they um, tell me to, to do my best and, and congratulate me on my schoolwork and everything. I am in this program called the University Center Program and it has encouraged me and motivated me to take AP and honors courses, which I still do. And uh, in junior and senior year, it lets me take Sonoma State courses, which has been very helpful in helping me acclimate to the college environment. and. Um, and just getting used to how a real college class will be like. I applied through this program called Questbridge, which um, offers like four year scholarships and um, for low income and students of diverse backgrounds. And I got accepted to Princeton University. I received a full ride scholarship funding certain programs such as the University Center program and uh, just the school in general is very helpful for the students because then they can gain new opportunities, they can gain aid that they otherwise wouldn't get. And so I think that just opens up more doors of possibility for students. So please donate, make it easier for a student to actually pursue and reach their dreams and goals. I think I always wanted to be an attorney. When I was little, I had the executive Barbie. She had a blazer and a little briefcase, and she was large and in charge. And even back in junior high, high school, I knew I would want to be a lawyer, but it seemed like really a pipe dream. It wasn't that anybody ever told me I couldn't. It just hadn't been presented as something that I could actually pursue before and I didn't know the steps to take to do that. There's nobody in my family who's ever become a lawyer, gone to professional school. People from this area tend to think, you know, you're doing really good if you just have any old job and you're not messing up your life in some way. So going on further just never seemed like something that I really knew how to do or um, felt like I could do. When you're trying to reach your dreams or break out of a cycle of poverty, it is very difficult. It's extremely difficult to do that. And if you don't feel support from others and you don't feel like you have a community of people who believe in you and who are supporting you, it can seem like, why bother? When I graduated from high school, I was a National Hispanic Scholar and I was accepted to a really good school but I didn't know that many people going to college and it was very difficult for me to 
understand that a college education would really pay off in the future. But then when I decided to become an attorney and go to law school, I actually commuted to San Francisco from Santa Rosa. Um, as a single mom, I had to think about my daughter, so I would commute three to four hours a day to go to school. I'm fortunate that I did have mentors and I did have people who believed in me and I did receive scholarships. And so when I was waking up at five in the morning and transferring three buses to get to my classes, I felt like I understood where I was going and what the end point was, what was the goal. And so that really did help me to achieve um, my dream of graduating law school and I did do very well in law school and now I have a great job and it's much less of a struggle to support my daughter and myself now that I do have a, a good profession. Youth need to be supported, they need to be guided and they need to be told that they do have opportunities and options in life and that there's a community of people who believe in them and are going to support them on that journey. So that's really why I am involved in the foundation and, and I really want people to donate to the foundation and help our students. And I hope that everybody does give to the foundation because what we're trying to do is raise money for kids who are going out there and ready to follow their dreams and ready to achieve a successful future and they deserve our support.